Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the tree generator in Gimmick 2.9 using GIMP 2.10. Okay, let's go ahead and open up GIMP software. And we'll create a new canvas. Let's go to File New. And we just create a canvas at 1920 by 1080. Let's go ahead and click OK. So we just got a blank background here. And we'll go to the filter. Let's go to Gimmick Plugin. Now, if you remember, we installed this in my last tutorial. If you've not already installed this uh, plugin, I will put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to install it. Let's click on that plugin. And we'll get loads of different options down here, right? There's all these different options, all the different things that you can do. But there's one interesting one in here, which is under Rendering. We we'll see a new tree generator here. So we can actually generate trees um, inside this plugin now, which is quite interesting. So if you're creating some artwork and you want to just create some trees to put in the background or do something like that, then you can use this uh, tree generator to do that. So you can change the thickness, you can change the leaf color, you can do all sorts of stuff in here, which is quite interesting um, application, right? So we can easily change the elements inside the tree, change the color. You can change so much stuff in here. It's just sort of endless the amount of things that you can do. It's really for you to go and experiment. I was just playing around with this uh, plugin and I found this little tree generator here. I thought it was quite interesting um, that you can have something like this within inside GIMP software itself. You can change the thickness of the, the tree itself. You can change the, the thickness of the base. You can manipulate the tree quite, um, you know, refine it quite a lot. You can change its angle, its ratio, the random seeds as well to make it look different. So there's lots of different things you can do in here. It's for you to go and experiment, play around with, come up with some nice artwork, some nice designs. If you just want to create a tree and put it into your artwork, then why go through the pain of drawing all these lines when you can use the generator to do it in like literally seconds, right? So let's say we wanted that version. We'll go ahead and click apply. We'll click OK. Now we've got a tree in here. We've got a background. It's added to its own layer. So you can go to the background, go to the gradient tool. You can go and fill in a gradient. Now you've got a nice gradient behind your tree. You can create some nice artwork. That's on its own layer, so it doesn't have to be that size. You can easily click here, uh, click on the scale tool. You can scale your tree down, have it in the distance on a hill or something. Um, so for you to now go and play around with the tr uh, this tree uh, generator and see what you can do with it um, and experiment, right? So it's really basic tutorial, just showing you that the option's there. I'm playing around with gim uh, this gimmick plugin seeing what's available, it's the latest version, I haven't used it for quite some time but I thought I'd go and play around with it and see um, what we can do with it and it's improved quite a lot, so, uh, you know a lot of the functionality inside has improved quite a lot so it's interesting that we can do things like this in this plugin now. So let's go ahead and minimize this, that's the end of this tutorial, nice and simple, go and play around and experiment with the gimmick plugin, I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.